What is up guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Zacti, as well as in combination with the Glaive for some parts of this video, um, as it's probably the best weapon for dual wielding, and I know some of you guys may not like dual wielding, but for those of you that do, um, it's probably the best weapon for it, because condition overload on the Glaive is very, very useful with this. Um, as you can see, it's one-hitting like all of the 150 Eximus factions, and... By itself, it's not too powerful, as you can see here, but it's, it still does a decent job. I'm not going to say it would be worth taking by itself without a glaive, um, unless you're in lower levels. However, you know, for stuff that's maybe like 60s, 70s, you'd, you'd still have a very nice time with it. It's a pretty fun weapon to use, and obviously with the glaive, uh, you'll be one-hitting for quite a while. And this is the build that I'm actually using for it. Using Hornet Strike, Lethal Torrent, Barrel Diffusion to add damage, and Multi-Shot, and Fire Rate. Um, then I'm using the four dual status, and I have a radiation on there. You could switch this out for corrosive and blast, and then gas comes standard as the weapon, as well as IPS. You got puncture and impact on there. So if you manage to get quite a lot of the uh, the procs onto an enemy, and then you use condition overload, it's very very useful. And then the prime heated charge is on there just because yeah, I, I quite like it. If you wanted to, you could actually put in like a prime slip magazine or tainted clip or ice storm. Um, so you can get up to the 4th bullet in a mag, that would also be quite useful, um, as Prime Heater Charge, it's useful, but it's not that great as you're just trying to get, um, Condition Overload to proc, and if you had another bullet in the mag, you'd probably have a better time at doing it. Either way, um, moving on to the Glaive build, it's just a standard Glaive build with Condition Overload, um, nothing too much to talk about, Power Throw, Quick Return to make it explode on impact, and then you have Prime Fury to increase attack speed, Pressure Points to increase damage, and then you have three Elementals, you could switch this out for whatever you want, this is just to add damage, and then we have Condition Overload, just so that it procs whatever's on the enemy from the Zacti. That's about all I want to say. This is a very, very good weapon, and quite fun to play, and peace.